Hey, y'all, what's up? Let's get to it. Today, we're going to talk about a failed inspection because of non-TR receptacles. Now, you might say, Coach, I would never do anything like this. I know that you got to have 10 resistant receptacles. Well, hear me out because this could happen to you. So here's the score. First, let's pull back and punt. If you don't know, pretty much everywhere in residential setting and in lots of commercial settings, you're now required to have tamper resistant receptacles. Now, what that means is that it's the receptacles with the little shutters on them. So a child can't walk up and stick its, you know, stick a bottle pin uh, in one side or the other without having both of them depressed and I get it it's a basic safety issue I'm fine with it and they've been around so long that they're pretty much just part of the furniture right but one thing that you've got to watch out for if you are a licensed electrician pro DIYer or you're just getting in the game is you have to watch out when you go to make your purchase of your receptacles I've had this happen to me where I've went to the supply house I've ordered you know tamper resistant receptacles and I get out on the job I install 15 or 20 of them and you look up and they're non tamper resistant so you may not even realize that you're installing non tamper resistant receptacles because you're just not even used to looking so always 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 double check a lot of times on the receptacle it will say TR definitely on your box or on your packaging it's gonna say that it's TR so with that being said, just to recap, it's super important. Check your receptacles as you get them from the store, as you get them from the supply house. If you're a homeowner or electrician, buying them from Lowe's, just because the sticker on the price tag says TR doesn't mean that there's a tamper-resistant receptacle in front of you. You can be at Lowe's and grab two boxes of TR and one not and end up failing your electrical inspection. So just remember, go ahead and put a tamper-resistant receptacle in. There's a 99% chance that your location is going to need one in residential and in a ton of different places in commercial. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I'm here just to hold the ladder for you guys. If there's anything I can do to help you, you can email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, that's it for today. Y'all keep fighting hard. I know it can get hard. You can get down. It feels like the world's on, world's on your shoulders. But listen to me. You can do it. Hang in there. If there's anything that I can do to help you, just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.